Hey guys, so this video is going to be a first impressions um, review on the Maybelline Volume Express Rocket Mascara. And I'm sure you guys have all seen this here on YouTube already. There's so many reviews on it, first impressions, things like that. But I did want to do one myself. Um, so this is what it looks like. It is a hot pink um, brush with, this is kind of like a bluish purple kind of color. I think the packaging is really cute. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. You guys can know if it's my son. He's right here. Pink. It's the only way I can film. Okay, so this is what the brush looks like. It's just very... Ooh, it's, it's hard. This is what this looks like. I'm gonna open it up. And that's what it looks like. It does look like a rocket. <laughs> it's cute. I like it a lot. It's really, really cute. Let's hope I like the mascara because I usually don't like Maybelline mascaras. So we're going to see how this works for me. Um, so I'm going to zoom you guys in so that you can see. I'm going to be doing this in the viewfinder. So let's see how this works. I didn't curl my lashes or anything like I usually do. Uh, this is really harder than it looks to do this in the viewfinder. <laughs> it's really wet. Um, the bristles kind of hurt my lash line. And I don't know. I don't think I'm really liking this too much. I like the length that it's giving me, but I don't like how it's kind of clumping my uh, lashes together at all. I do like the length, but I definitely would probably have to pair this with uh, either my clump crusher or my, um, and it's really messy. Or my, um, what is it, CoverGirl Lash Perfection, just to uh, unclump those. So I'm going to stop with this one application just because it is really clumping and I don't like that at all. Um, let's see the bottom lashes. I like it on the bottom. But yeah. So uh, that's one application. I'm kind of debating if I should do one more just to see. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Screw it. So here is application number two. Let's see what we can do. But this is so clumpy. Oh my god. I mean, I like the volume and the length that it gives. It's just very clumping. Okay, so now that I'm starting to look like a spider, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop right there. Okay, well, <sighs> I do not like how it clumps. I do not at all. No, 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 no. That's a big no-no for me. I'm gonna go in now with my <sighs> clump crusher. See if I can fix it. The messiness of the mascara, obviously, I can fix with a Q-tip, but holy crap, this looks like crap. I do not. Actually, you know what? Looking at it in my mirror, it kind of looks better than it does in the viewfinder. Okay. 
come on. Um, unclump. <laughs> okay, so it definitely looks better than it does in my mirror than on the viewfinder, but it's still really clumpy. And, um, I, I don't really like the clumpiness about it. I'm going to clean up my eye, and then I'm going to finish my second eye, and I will be back. Okay, so I just finished my second eye. I applied two applications on each eye, and I look like I have spider legs hanging off of my eyes. Um, but I do have to say that applying it not in the viewfinder and just using a little mirror, um, I was able to you know bend my head like I normally would put on mascara and it wasn't as messy. The formula, it was still really clumping um, with two applications and I don't really like that about, I don't like my eyelashes clumpy. Um, I do like the length and the volume that it does give, but I definitely am going to stick to one application when wearing this mascara. So overall first impression, um, I do like it. <laughs> it just scared me a little bit that it was clumping so much, but you know, you work with it and I do, I do like it. I just, next time we'll only put one application. Um, so let me zoom you guys in. Here is um, the final. Oh, and I did add some eyeliner just because it looked really scary without um, eyeliner on. And I have some eyeliner on my contact. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that is what my eyelashes look like with this mascara. Overall, I do like it and I just need to um, do one application and I'll be fine. I hope you guys found this review helpful and you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more first impressions, then like this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.